Hey everyone, this is Ryan Jeske with the Prescott Caliber Club. In today's video, I'm going to be showing off a really cool emergency preparedness item that I think every family should have. So in today's video, what I wanted to have a discussion about was protecting you and your family from an EMP. Again, what is an EMP? An EMP is an electromagnetic pulse. Some people hear the term EMP and they think that it's, um, you know, kind of a far-fetched wild idea, but let's really explore that a little bit because what I'm going to be presenting to you today in this video is a device, a product, that can be easily installed to protect your entire home from an EMP attack or just a standard EMP that would happen due to a coronal mass injection or something like that. Now a lot of you guys may be asking how likely is an EMP to actually happen? Now I think there's a few things that we need to discuss here along those lines. There's going to be two different kinds of EMPs. There's going to be your natural EMP and then there's going to be your weaponized EMP attack. First let's just talk about a naturally occurring EMP. On September 1st to 2nd, 1859, the Carrington event took place. The Carrington event was a geomagnetic storm where a solar coronal mass ejection, also known as a CME, hit Earth's magnetosphere. Telegraph wires and poles started on fire. Things were going crazy. Electrical devices were burning up all over the place. Um, damage, you know, being damaged, being destroyed, all of these things. Now, luckily, that this took place in 1859 when we didn't have cell phones and computers and televisions and all of these things as part of our daily life. So it didn't affect us all that much. It basically knocked out telegraph communications. But the reality is that if something like that happened, this was just a, you know, um, 1859. That wasn't that long ago. If something like this were to happen again, Imagine the repercussions of that in today's world with all of your electronics, with all of the connectivity, with all of the, uh, I don't know, email, schooling, work from home, all of those things. An EMP or a weaponized EMP designed to knock out our power grids would be unbelievable. It would really, really topple this country like that. So guys, many of you may be wondering, how do I protect myself? How do I go about protecting my family? How do I go about protecting my valuables, my home, my electronics, my grid from an EMP? That's precisely what this video is about. If you jump in the description section down below, there's a number of ways that you can help support our channel. If you're an Amazon shopper, you can click our link and continue shopping. If you're looking for a VPN service, there's a link for that as well. The pertinent item down in our description section for today's video is the Whole Home EMP Shield. Now, if you go to EMPShield.com and use our code CALCLUB, that will give you $50 off of each EMP device that you purchase. Additionally, that will help support the Prescott Caliber Club channel. But more on all of that later. Now, many people will ask, well, could this really happen? Could a, a, a weaponized EMP attack happen? I believe it's very possible. Um, if you look at a couple of my recent videos, I think it was two videos ago, I did a, a video on some solar products because I believe coupling the EMP shield device with your own solar production system is a great way to really help secure yourself from a grid attack, from a power outage, from any kind of uh, uh, weaponized attacks that will affect our power or our connectivity. Now, the weaponized attacks are legit. There is the real threat, the real possibility, there are devices out there, and that's what I featured in one of my videos recently. China has actual devices that can be used to target and and shoot an EMP, I guess, for lack of a better term, at devices and knock out, knock out their electronic components. It's absolutely terrifying. So the possibility, the um, availability of the devices to do so is there. Are they gonna try it? I don't know. But the reality is, it's possible. And then when you couple that along with the reality that up above us, there's been a lot going on, meteors, stuff flying around, all kinds of things happening, you never know when another Carrington-like event could occur. So the reality is, is, it's a very real possibility. Now, if these devices cost 
you know, thousands and thousands of dollars. It may not be worth the risk, but that's not the case. They're only a couple of hundred dollars, a few hundred dollars. And to protect your whole entire home from an EMP, I think is a great, great option. I back that up by the fact that EMP Shield, the device that we're going to be talking about here today, is being used by DEMSA. They're being used by the military. They're being used to harden the Texas power grid. In addition to that, according to Forbes and the Washington Post, President Trump has even issued executive orders hardening our grid from the threat of EMP attacks. You could say this is just kind of tinfoil hat conspiracy theory, but there's real world actions taking place that tell us differently, that tell us that the government, the military, and a lot of other people are very concerned about the possibility, the very real possibility of an EMP. What would it look like if we were actually to be attacked with an EMP? I always tell everybody, think about it like this, Little House on the Prairie. You will go from right here, right now, the way we're sitting, boom, you're done. We are knocked back into no power, no grid, no connectivity, no nothing. Little House on the Prairie with the flip of a switch, literally. That's terrifying. Some of us, like myself, would actually kind of enjoy some of that. That's a lot of what I dedicate my life to. But there's a big chunk of the world who would have no idea where to go, what to do, or how to move forward if the power were to go out right now. That's scary. That's very, very scary because that could have other repercussions as well. When we talk about arming up, when we talk about water purification, when we talk about lights, when we talk about emergency medical services, all of these things are tied into the grid and into, the, into power, electronics, devices, things like that. So it's very, very important and it's very, very scary. If the power gets knocked out, I'll see you on the prairie. How do we go about preventing an EMP, right? How do we go about preventing our devices, our electronics, our homes, our grids from being destroyed? Well, one way you can do so is by using a Faraday cage. And this is very, very common practice. A Faraday cage is nothing more than a steel box. Um, it actually is blocking radio frequency, so it doesn't even have to be steel. There are other devices. And nowadays, some people are coming out with some really cool products, some Faraday bags that are soft, light, and that you can just slide devices into and they will protect you from an EMP. In order to tell whether or not the Faraday cage is working, you're going to want to take a device like a radio, like a ham radio or something like that, and you're going to want to turn it on, put it inside of the box, close the lid, and if the signal is lost, if the signal is gone, you're good to go. It's been blocking the signal. Because remember, an EMP is nothing more than electromagnetic pulse within the air. It's able to travel through the air molecules to your devices and go right through your devices and knock them out. What this device does, this is how you get your whole home EMP shield. This is how it arrives. Now your EMP shield is a device that you install into your breaker box outside of your home. And what the device does is basically shunts the charge when there's an overcharge, when there is a pulse an electromagnetic pulse, it shunts and shunts it to the ground and avoids the additional voltage from damaging your devices because it grounded it out. Now, some people argue that these devices do not work. They say they won't work, these are gimmicks. How do you prove it, right? That's a legitimate question. How do you prove that this device works? Well, guys, the entire reason that we're doing this video right here, right now, today, is because I had an experience with my EMP shield device that I wanted to share with you. It is a bit of evidence that this device is not just a complete gimmick. I believe in these devices. I think they'll work. If you go look at the critical infrastructure reports, I think they're going to work based on that evidence, based on the Keystone Laboratory testing results of these products. I believe they'll work. Other people don't, but how do you know? How do we test this? How are we going to test an EMP on a device like this? We can't create an EMP, most of us. I have seen some people on the internet testing out EMPs with these devices attached and they worked. They actually were able to make controlled EMPs, you know, pulse, make it pulse 
while it was connected to a, vi a device to see what happened. A lot of times the devices would get knocked out, but they'd turn back on, not being damaged, while the devices not protected by the EMP shield would be knocked out permanently. No, I have installed EMP shields throughout my property. I have them installed, numerous ones in my home because of the way my home is laid out with multiple breakers. And I also have some installed in my vehicles. Now, the reason that I'm making this video here today was because I needed to replace my EMP shield with a new one because mine blew out. Hmm, that's interesting, huh? Mine blew out. Well, here's what happened. This is another piece of evidence that makes me think that these devices are legitimate. We had a major lightning storm here recently, um, just about a half a mile away from my house. My house and my neighbor's house were both affected by a lightning strike. One thing in my entire property blew out. It was the ethernet box at the, at the side of the house, outside of the house. That is the only device that blew on my house. Everything else was attached to this. It was attached through the breaker system to the whole home EMP shield device. And everything else in my home was fine. The device blew, but they warranty those. And for $50, you send this in and they'll send you a replacement. And that's what I'm going about doing right now. That's why I have this up. My neighbor's house, who was also involved in the same storm, had multiple routers and multiple devices knocked out in his home. So I am going to go and venture and say that the EMP shield at least saved my home in this instance from a lightning strike. We now know that this is not complete gimmick, right? It's at least not a complete gimmick. I don't believe they're gimmicks at all. If, again, if you're interested in protecting your whole entire home from an electromagnetic pulse, what better way than to do so at the breaker box and protect everything inside of your home? I think these things are awesome. If you jump up and look right here, there's a couple of videos that I'll be showing. These show you how to go about installing them into either a vehicle or into your whole home. Of course, you can do either. I don't know, these products are great guys. Now I wanted to jump out to the breaker box real quick because I wanted to show you guys what it's like removing the EMP shield. Remember, we're doing a warranty exchange on these products. I contacted EMP shield and I contacted Ben Fletcher and I said, Ben, I had a lightning strike, my EMP shield blew out, what can I do? He said, call this number, they'll get you set up. And for $50, within a matter of minutes, I had a new EMP shield on its way to me, an RMA sent back so I could return the old one so they could do research and development on it to see what actually happened. And I was on my way. So I think these guys are a really, really great company. I think they offer really, really great products. I think they offer a really necessary item in today's world. Now, I would highly recommend that if you are not a licensed electrician, you do not touch this. But basically, all you're needing to do is open up your breaker box, make sure all of the power is turned off, and you're going to disconnect the four cables that are coming out of the box. Because I'm going to need to reinstall when I receive the new EMP shield, I'm going to go ahead and just clip each of these cables so I know where each color needs to be put in when the new box arrives. So guys, there you have it. That is my experience thus far with the EMP shield. These are whole home EMP shield devices that protect everything. Everything plugged into your into your wall outlets in your entire house are going to be protected from an EMP. I think this is a very cool product. For those of you out there who are naysayers, for those of you out there who don't believe that this product is going to work, Please comment down below and let us know why, but don't do so with mean names, no cussing and swearing, any of that kind of stuff. Factual evidence only, and let us know down below why it is you don't think that these devices are going to work. Personally, I think they will, and as I said before, based on the Keystone Laboratory testing evidence, I don't see how you could refute that, but maybe some of you out there are smarter than everybody else and have a little bit better information than we do. So again, please share that information down below. I would love to have discussions. That's what we're all about here. So guys, if you're interested in protecting your whole home from an EMP, head on over to empshield.com. 
go ahead and pick up one of your whole home EMP shield devices using discount code CALCLUB. That will save you $50 off of each device. It will also help support the channel here. So guys, I don't have anything else for you this week. Until next time, stay safe and keep prepping.